and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review video. As you guys know, if you have followed me for a while, the struggle with my hair is real. I have gone from short hair to longer stringy hair to having to chop it all off again. And right now I am at this stage where I'm actually going to get a haircut um, in like two days. But... Not the last time I was at the hairdresser, but the time before, when I actually got it colored, which that is going, I mean, look at those roots, that's bad, but it's not getting colored anytime soon. My hairdresser, she knows I've been struggling, I've had lab tests, could not figure out why, my hair was just breaking off, coming out in clumps. My daughter's four years old, this is not postpartum hormone changes, um, and it just... It got to the point where it was breaking off and started growing. I mean, it was so, I had, you know, I had it up here, but once it got down to about here, it was so thin and stringy, and I'm like, it, it had to be chopped off. So, I started the whole vitamin regimen with taking biotin along with calcium, because I heard that helps you absorb, and I'm taking a high dose of biotin, and all that's really done is make me have to cut my nails all the time, which I really need to paint my nails. Talking to my hairdresser, I'm like, this is horrible. This is just, I'm going to cut my hair off. This is ridiculous. And it grows so slow that most people go in like every six weeks and get like a trim and such. I'm to the point where like it has been almost 10 weeks and I've had, bare, I mean, it's going to be a very small trim. It's just going to be to clean up maybe the edges because like back in here, these pieces obviously are shorter than the rest. And so we're just trying to get it all one length at this point but if you've been watching for a while you know like I have had like these little stragglers here that were always pointed straight up but look at this I have I'm getting hair can you see that it used to be like these little short ones are new and these ones I'm sorry I'm looking at the screen to show you and these ones have really taken off I have hair growth you guys hair growth Maybe not really noticing here, but it's starting to come in here. There used to be like a distinct line. I will try to insert pictures soon, I'll t I'll, like in a moment. So, my hairdresser suggested this line of shampoo and conditioner. She said she wanted me to be the guinea pig of it because she heard it was really great, but she also knew that high-end shampoos, I mean, there's high-end shampoos and then there's ridiculously high-end shampoos, and that is just not something I was willing to throw out the window if it wasn't going to work, and she didn't want to recommend it to her clients if it wasn't going to work. So she said, I own my business, we're going to do this, I'm sure it's a write-off or something for her. She went ahead and she ordered it for me, and the name of the company is Monat, and that is what their symbol looks like. And so she got me the Revive, and these are full size guys, obviously, I mean, they're huge. This is the Revive Shampoo in volume. And it says, helps increase hair density, strength, and manageability. Infused with Rejuvenique. And then the conditioner, which was a smaller one, uh, the shampoo is eight ounces, the conditioner is six. This is the Revitalize conditioner for volume and it helps increase hair density, strength, and manageability as well. So there is the conditioner. So I was very skeptical if this was going to work and I'll kind of read the back of it just real quick. Um, it says for the shampoo, a gentle volumizing cleanser for fine, limp, and lifeless hair that penetrates and nurtures the scalp while helping boost natural hair growth and improve follicle strength to reduce hair thinning, delivers weightless body to fine flat hair, gives hair a touchably soft and youthful look, safe to use on colored or chemically treated hair, and extensions. And then it has a list of what it does have in it and what it does not have in it. There's no sulfates, parabens, harsh salt systems, phthalates, I don't know what that is, PEG, DEA, MEA, or harmful colors and harmful fragrances. So the way that the system works is a little bit different than most things that I have seen. You put this the shampoo in your hair and you really massage it into your scalp. And then you let this sit. Now it says to let it sit about two to three minutes. There have been times where I throw this up in my hair and then I'm shaving my legs and doing whatever. And I really let it sit for a good five minutes or so. 
um, and then you rinse it out and you go ahead and you apply your conditioner and it just wash in, you know, put in, wash out, whatever. Or anything, it's not a deep conditioner. And one neat thing about these battles is I, th I think they just, they look very nice. And then, to open, like, it took me like five minutes to figure out how to open these, how stupid can I be? I'm like, I'm like, what in the world? All you do is you twist and it opens. You can see now there's a space there. And now uh, there's all the stuff's being pushed. But then it just comes out this hole. When you're done, you just twist it. And you hear the click. Did you hear that? There you go. So, that's how you open these in case you need to know. I could not believe I got stuck on that. I'm in the shower. I'm like, what is going on? But anyways. So, I asked my hairdresser. I said, do I need, is this something I need to use every day? Is this something I should be using every other day? Every wash? What should I be doing? And she said, you know, at least three times a week. Um, to be using this, which is about how often I wash my hair, three to four times a week. Um, maybe if I'm doing it more often, then I use a different um, shampoo and conditioner. But this has really been what I have been using. And I have been using this now since, I believe, June 20... Not June 23rd, I apologize. I'm grabbing my phone. Because I actually took pictures, and that is what I will insert uh, momentarily. You will see. I started this on... Come on. July 29th. So this is now September 30th. July, August, September. Two straight months now. And I would definitely say it has really, really helped my hair. I can definitely notice it's funny because right after I do it, my hair, like you can see like the little bit of blonde here and it's not really coming across too blonde anymore. It was blonde and purple. When it first dries, the colors are like, boom, blonde, and not purple anymore, it's more of a coppery tone, but they're so vibrant, and it does, it leaves your hair incredibly soft, and this is with, I've done no product to it, so I'm able to just kind of wash my hair, I go like this, it dries, my hair, it gets this curl on the one side, I don't know why it does it, and this side kind of stays straight. If I want to, I have like a hair beauty balm that I put in my hair sometimes, otherwise as it's drying, just air drying every once in a while I'll do this and it will straighten itself out. Now, I didn't do that today. I just washed my hair and then let it dry and do its own thing and this is what it's done. But you can see there's there's volume to my hair, you guys. Like, look at this. This is, the, there's, there's stuff here. If you see my old videos, even trying to do my hair, like, I still straighten my hair once in a while. But once I would straighten my hair, it was like... Whoosh, done and it was like stuck to the side of my face now I can straighten it and I do this and I've got volume so this stuff is amazing I believe it retails for about $40 a piece so it is a bit pricey but I highly recommend it if you are having problems with your hair splitting um, I don't have split ends anymore it doesn't claim to fix that but I would say it definitely has helped with the breakage which it does say I believe here improves follicle strength so and to reduce hair thinning. So to me, that is minimizing breakage. And I definitely see that. So I will insert pictures here of day one. And then I took pictures about a month and a half later. And I will insert that here. And as you guys can see, there was a drastic difference. You can see wet and dry. You'll be able to see the, the, the distinct part. I mean, you can see I have a part here, but it's not so... I mean, but the hair is growing. Every once in a while, you might see... I'm not sure how close I can get that it'll focus, but you can see little little sprouts right there. Look at that. That's new hair coming. I'm so excited, you guys. I think maybe after a few more months of this... And getting regular hair trims again. I mean, honestly, the hair appointment I have on Friday, I really don't even need. It's just going to be just kind of freshen it up a little bit. There's not going to be any much length taken off. But I think if I maintain that, maintain this. And I have been using this now, you guys, for two months. At least three times a week. And I have a ton of product left. You don't mow well, my hair length. I don't need a lot. So this is really worth, worth the investment to me, you guys. Um, absolutely, absolutely love it. Highly recommend it for anybody having hair issues. And I don't know if taking the biotin and the calcium and all that good stuff is helping it, but it can't hurt, right? So, 
whatever. That is my review on the Monet Revitalizing and Revive Shampoo and Conditioner. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you are new, please subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.